Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning everyone This time Gloria Monica Sarimanik and I, Jauzana Yamuya Will show you how to make banana lampen I like to call this dish as Banjuri's pancake Because it really looks like a pancake And the way it is cooked Well, it's cooked in a pan Just like pancake But before we start it We need to find ingredients As you can see here Nadia is shopping in Miai River Market to find some bananas, vanilla powder, and margarine. Alright, now that I found all the ingredients, let's go home. To make banana lempeng, you will need wet flour, one egg, bananas, margarine, water, vanilla powder, sugar, salt, and cooking oil you also have to prepare a big bowl a small bowl knife spoon rice ladle glass of water flat frying pan spatula pan lid and of course a stove now that you have prepared all the ingredients and cooking utensils we can start by slicing four bananas and put them in a big power. Then, using a rice ladle, start to mash them until your preference of consistency. Here we make it completely mushy, but if you want to have bigger banana chunks in your lampeng, you can just chop them into small cubes without mashing them. After that, add 15 tablespoons of wet flour, 8 the egg, and try to mix them. Add water little by little while mixing it until uncompressed into this consistency. Add about 2 tablespoons of sugar and a little bit of salt to balance the sweetness. Add 2 tablespoons of margarine. You can add more if you want to make your lampeng softer. And after you better reach this kind of consistency, add a half package of the vanilla powder and mix. At this point, most of the people will add some cooked coconut milk and some shredded coconut to the batter. But this time, we skip those ingredients so that I can save the lampeng for a longer time without refrigerator. Prepare your pan, drizzle a little bit of cooking oil, and then turn on the head. Wait until your pan is heated and then put a little bit of the batter on the pan and wait until cooked. We do this to check whether the batter is well flavored or not after cook. Our batter here is not sweet enough so we will add more sugar. After you did some trial to the batter and you have found the perfect taste you can add your batter to the pan. You can make it thick by adding more batter or make it thin by adding less batter. Then cover the frying batter with a pan lid. Don't forget to lower the heat. Wait about 5 minutes. Remove the lid, then check the bottom part of the lampen regularly to avoid burning the lampen. Some people actually like to have their lampen a little bit burned. You can achieve that kind of doneness by using more oil at the start and leave it on the head for a longer time. Just make sure to check regularly. Once the bottom part of lampeng develops brown crust, you can flip the lampeng to the other side. Look at that perfect color. Wait for some minutes while checking the bottom part regularly and when it turns brown, remove from the heat. Alright, now cook the rest of the batter. This time, we are using margarine instead of cooking oil. It will give our lampeng a slight savory taste and make it much better. After your lampeng is cooked, remove it from the head and do the plating. This is it, our banana lampeng is done. It is a perfect pair for a cup of hot tea. To level up this lampeng and make it look cuter, we top it with sugar, random leaves that look like mint, and a drizzle of black forest honey. 
You can also use condensed milk or chocolate sprinkles as a topping. Plant bank is not only easy to make, it is also versatile. You can use your creativity to put other fruits like jackfruit and durian or even glutinous rice tape instead of banana. You can also make simple lamping with just wet flour, sugar, and water. I guess that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Anyway, see you next time.